Box girders are a part of the bridge superstructure. The superstructure is the entire viaduct structure above the pier cap. A superstructure includes the rails, rail pedestals, parapets, blisters, etc. Box girders are a type of girder used as the main bridge viaduct placed simply supported on both ends. Girders are the most essential part of the bridge. They support the deck slab for the traffic passing above the deck. The geometry of the box girder can be briefly classified into four parts. Top flange. The top flange is the upper part of the box girder that double serves as a deck slab. The top flange is the surface of interaction between the vehicles and the girder. Bottom flange. The bottom flange is the lower horizontal portion of the box girder. This part, as you can see, has most of the post tensioning cables fixed to it via an anchorage block. The bottom flange becomes thicker at the ends of the viaduct and remains constant throughout the mid segments of the span. Webs. The webs are the vertical members of the box girders. They may also be inclined and made up of composite material. Cantilevered flange. Cantilevered flange portion is the outwardly protruding member of the box girder. Their section gradually reduces towards the ends. The diaphragm. A diaphragm member is an additional structural concrete wall constructed at the end segment of the viaduct laterally along a bridge spans on both sides. Rail plinths are the elongated precast concrete members that support the steel rails and their attachment accessories. To avoid rebuilding rail plinth frequently and having to disrupt the operational traffic, they have a design service life of about 100 years. A higher grade of concrete is used along with insufficient reinforcement. An anchorage block is a load bearing and transferring component that is socketed out of the box girder. They provide a strong sitting for post tensioning cables and transfer pre stressed force from steel strands to concrete member directly. They also prevent concrete bursting or crushing under extreme loads. Post tensioning cables are used to stress the segments of the box girder and keep them in place. The cables are arranged in a grid pattern at the ends of the bottom flange. The anchorage block ensures the safety of the anchorage group by providing additional strength during its service life. Each cable has multiple strands that are stressed at different stages of construction and some are left for future stressing should the need arise. Blisters are longitudinal structural members monolithically constructed with the girders at the bottom flange. These members provide the necessary future provision of post tensioning. The rectangular blocks that socket out of the girder are called shear keys. They are required to provide lateral restraints to the bridge superstructures under service and earthquake conditions. In the event of an earthquake, shear keys function as structural fuses to prevent the transmission of large seismic forces to the seismic arrestor and thereby to the foundation. Vertical bearings are the interface between the concrete surfaces of the seismic arrestor and the box girder. They are placed at the notches in the end segment and vital in preventing concrete rupture during seismic or lateral impact with the arrestors. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with the latest updates. Also, check out our website www.thebridgehawk.com for more resources on bridge design. Till then, Stay tuned to the Bridgehawk. Creativity is now.